transfer portal and NIL is going to go crazy in EA College Football 25. Dynasty mode is going to get a whole lot more challenging. Think about it. Two-star Jimmy starts slinging it for your Akron Zips, and classmates across campus start calling him the Big J. Big J, though, isn't happy with your coaches and how your team is performing. Since they could only muster up three wins and you couldn't provide the weapons for him on offense, Big J says, fooey, and whammo, he's in the transfer portal. What do you do? In essence, that's kind of the point of this video. There were over 1,300 transfer portal players in the portal last season, and it's hard to look across the landscape and see a team unaffected. Even one of the guys watching the vids, Tyson Durant DB from Akron, has hit the transfer portal and is going to be going to Washington State. This video, I'm going to be bringing you all transfer portal action rapid fire, highlighting the best players and the highest overall transfers in the new EA College football video game. Shout out to you guys that won this one. Keep them requests coming. Projected to go first round by many scouts, safety Caleb Downs has one of the highest floors of all college players in the nation. Comparable to Eric Berry, Downs was electric his true freshman year, and after Nick Saban announced retirement, he hit the portal and landed with the Ohio State Buckeyes, who are already adding to a loaded defense for next season. Caleb Downs is my, and on threes, number one impactful transfer for the upcoming season. Before the Nick Saban announcement, defensive lineman Walter Nolan was actually the number one ranked impactful transfer. Texas A&M has undergone a coaching change and some significant turnover, and the portal has just been hot for these guys guys of late. So in dynasty mode, be careful before you fire your defensive coordinator who gave up 38 points per game, but he just had a real way with the fellas. Nolan is coming off a solid sophomore season, which he played in 12 games, recorded 37 tackles, eight and a half tackles for loss and four sacks. The former five star should make an immediate impact with Ole Miss. Like Caleb Downs, Julian Sayan, quarterback, was committed to Alabama, but flipped his commit to Ohio State when Nick Saban retired. Labeled the most refined and accurate passer in the 2024 cycle, Julian has one of the quickest releases for quarterbacks in his class. My guy, Big Will Howard, should be able to take Julian under his wing, but Julian has tremendous upside and potential that could surpass what Will was even able to accomplish in his collegiate career. Back and forth we go, two Alabama players leaving, and now the second Texas A&M player to hit our list. Evan Stewart Wide receiver reminds on three scouts of Odell Beckham Jr., an elite athlete and well-rounded receiver. The Oregon Ducks have landed themselves a real threat at wideout. Back to the Alabama well we go. Caden Proctor, offensive tackle, hit the porter and was swooped up by Iowa, a massive haul for the Hawkeyes. He had more than 20 scholarship offers at the age of 16. Listed at 6'7", 3'18", good luck getting your edge rushers around this man in the trenches. Man, oh man, the Buckeyes keep tooling up, equipped with their third transfer out of the top six transfers in the entire portal. As a true freshman at Ole Miss, Quinshawn Judkins, running back, hit pay dirt 17 times and amassed about 1,700 total yards. Yards per carry was a little bit down this sophomore season, but he did hit pay dirt another 17 times. The best running back in the portal is headed to, you guessed it, Ohio State, man. If you got a running back like this in dynasty mode, you better give him the keys to the stadium or that fat NIL bag or else he's out of there. We got a trend here, folks. Alabama player hits the portal. Does it sound familiar yet? Isaiah Bond, wide receiver, snagged 48 balls for 668 yards and four touchdowns for Bama this last season. That's a good amount of balls. Now on his way to play with Quinn Ewers in the Texas Longhorns, this should be a dynamic duo from day one. Is it just me or does it feel like this man has been doing it for a while now? Cam Ward, quarterback from Washington State, hit the portal and committed to the University of Miami. Miami also lost their quarterback at the helm. Van Dyke hit the portal, but they do get an upgrade here in Ward. He is seasoned, and he has about 7,000 yards and 48 passing touchdowns to come with him that he accomplished in his last two seasons with Washington State. Texas A&M has some reinforcements on the way. Nick Scourton, edge rusher from Purdue, is a big haul for AM. Trying to replace the blow in losing Walter Nolan, it's hard to complain about Nick Scourton and the production he will bring coming off a Big Ten sack season in the Big Ten. No pun intended. He will take on the SEC this coming season. Gators are losing a big one here. Princely Eumann Milan, edge rusher, keeps taking his game to the next level. Three straight years of increased production and hitting another gear. This last year was his best yet. Headed to Ole Miss to add to that impressive class, Princely is a gem of an addition for the crew. 
Okay, so that was my top 10, but now let me give you the next 90. Yes, 90 transfer portal players to watch out for in EA College Football 25. Before you hit the transfer portal and head back to the YouTube homepage, hit that subscribe button and join my EA College Football giveaway. This is going to be rapid fire. Zay Lance Hurd, offensive tackle, transferring from LSU to Tennessee. Jabbar Muhammad, DB, transferring from Washington to Oregon. Dante Moore, a young quarterback transferring from UCLA to Oregon as well. Riley Leonard leaving Duke and heading to Notre Dame as their new quarterback. Branson Hickman recently entered the portal here, an offensive tackle from SMU. Hasn't decided where to go yet. Maybe it's your dynasty program. Dylan Gabriel, quarterback transferring from Oklahoma to Oregon. Caden Green, an offensive tackle from Oklahoma heading to Mizzou. Will Howard, a quarterback from Kansas State leaving for Ohio State. Trevor Etienne, a Florida Gator running back headed to Georgia. Parker Brailsford, an interior offensive lineman from the University of Washington, going to Alabama following his old coach. Juice Wells got the juice, receiver from South Carolina, heading to Ole Miss. Trey Moore, edge rusher from the UTSA Roadrunners, going to Texas Longhorns. Tyler Barron, edge rusher from Tennessee, headed to Louisville. AJ Harris, DB from Georgia, headed to Penn State. Marvin Jones Jr., an edge rusher from Georgia, headed to Florida State. Takario Davis, a DB from Arizona, has entered the portal but not decided where to go yet. Des Ricks, a DB from Alabama, is leaving for Texas A&M. Penny Boone, a high-ranked running back from Toledo, is going to Louisville. Aiden Chiles, a young quarterback from the Oregon State Beavers, leaving for Michigan State. Colin Lacey, a receiver from South Alabama, leaving for Louisville. Kamari Ramsey, a safety from UCLA, leaving for the University of Southern California. Malachi Nelson, quarterback from USC, leaving to go to the Broncos. Go State. Keon Sab, a safety from Michigan, headed to Alabama. Amari Niblack, tight end from Bama, leaving for the Longhorns. Domani Jackson, a DB from USC, headed to Alabama. Joey Slackman, a defensive lineman from the University of Penn, headed to Florida. Woo! BJ Green, edge rusher from Arizona State, going to the Buffs. Kyle McCord, quarterback from Ohio State, leaving for Syracuse. Jamon Dumas Johnson, linebacker from Georgia, headed to Kentucky. Andrew Mukuba from Clemson, leaving to Texas. Brock Vandegrift, quarterback from Georgia, headed to Kentucky. Toriano Pride, DB from Clemson, leaving to Mizzou. Justin Jolly, a tight end from UConn, headed to the NC State Wolfpack. Nylon Green, a cornerback from Georgia, headed to Purdue. Daquan Finn, a quarterback from Toledo, is going to be playing at Baylor. Matthew Golden, a receiver from the University of Houston, headed to the Texas Longhorns. Rocket Sanders, a running back from Arkansas, headed to South Carolina. LT Overton, a defensive lineman from a and headed to Bama. Cam Alexander, UTSA DB, leaving for Oregon. Jamari Caldwell, defensive lineman from Houston, leaving to Oregon. Noah Rogers, leaving from Ohio State to NC State. Caden Wallard, edge rusher from Miami of Ohio, leaving to Oklahoma. DJ Ugalele, quarterback from Oregon State, headed to Florida State. Tyler Van Dyke from the University of Miami, quarterback, leaving for Wisconsin. Jayshon Barham, linebacker from Maryland, leaving for Michigan. Fidel Diggs, edge rusher from AM, headed to Syracuse. Colby Young, wide receiver from Miami, leaving for Georgia. Austin Mack, quarterback for UW, leaving for Bama. Jameer Grimsley, cornerback for Bama, headed to Florida. Chris Mitchell, wide receiver from Florida International, headed to Notre Dame. Young quarterback Malik Murphy from Texas, headed to Duke. Jonah Coleman, running back from Arizona, leaving for Washington. Aeneas Peebles, defensive lineman from Duke, transferring out to Virginia Tech. Will Rogers, quarterback from Mississippi State, headed to UW. Garnet Hollis Jr., a DB from Northwestern, has entered the portal but is undecided. Josh Kelly, wide receiver from Washington State, is leaving for Texas Tech. Kevin Darton, defensive lineman from Syracuse, headed to U of A. Woo! Rico Flores Jr., wide receiver from Notre Dame, leaving for UCLA. Mikey Matthews, wide receiver from Utah, headed to Cal. R.G. Oben, edge rusher from Duke, leaving to Notre Dame. Chris Paul Jr., linebacker from Arkansas for Ole Miss. Treshawn Devones, DB from Rice, undecided yet. Jack Velling, tight end from Oregon State, leaving for Michigan State. K.J. Jefferson, quarterback from Arkansas, is headed to UCF. Jake Johnson, tight end from AM, leaving to North Carolina. C.J. Daniels, a Liberty receiver, headed to LSU. Dion Burks, a wide receiver from Purdue, headed to Oklahoma. J.C. Davis, offensive tackle from the New Mexico Lobos, leaving for the Illinois Fighting Illini. Lejante Wester, receiver from FAU, headed to the Buffs. John Pius, a linebacker from William Mary, headed to Wisconsin. Caleb Bransaw, a DB from Troy, has hit the portal but undecided right now. Jaheim Thomas, a linebacker from Arkansas, leaving for Wisconsin. Marcus Bryant, an offensive tackle from SMU, also entered the portal 
and undecided like his fellow SMU teammate. Tackett Curtis, linebacker from USC, leaving for Wisconsin. Jalen Brown, wide receiver from LSU, headed to Florida State. Quincy Wiggins, edge rusher from LSU, headed to the Buffs. Elijah Sarrett, wide receiver from James Madison, headed to Indiana. Damone Williams Jr., a quarterback from U of A, is leaving to the University of Washington. Tyler Johnson, a lineman from University of Houston, headed to the Buffs. Jaquindon Jackson, a running back from Utah, Goes to the Arkansas Razorbacks. Thor Griffith, a defensive lineman from Harvard, headed to Louisville. Chris Tyree, receiver from Notre Dame, going to Virginia. Easton Kilty, an offensive lineman from North Dakota, headed to Kansas State. Jeremiah Hunter, a receiver from Cal, is headed to UW. Chris Brazil, a receiver from Tulane, headed to Tennessee. Jaquavius Marks, a running back from Mississippi State, headed to USC. Chip Tranum, a running back from The Ohio State, headed to Kentucky. Drake Dabney, a tight end from Baylor, headed to TCU. And lastly, Jamori Macklin, brother of Jeremy Macklin, receiver from the University of North Texas, is going to Kentucky. Man, that was a lot. But that is the top 100 transfer portal players that you can expect to see in the new EA College Football video game. However, the portal is still deep, another 1,000 plus players. So just put that in perspective, what that will mean for your dynasty mode. Start scheming now if you want to keep the big J on campus. Keep it here with King Sponge for all your college football needs and gameplay.